good afternoon so the next entry that we will be discussing about will be the gmdss radio logbook entry this five lines one two three four six this six lines is to be written at the start of every date so the lines are sat c is on and egc is set to nav or met area which area you are going to be in so if you are in, in nav area 9 you will be writing nav area 9 10 or whichever area you are going to go through the nav tech station is set to nav tech is set to which stations so these two you can find out how to uh, find the nav and egc areas and stations by watching the old videos about how to set nav area and how to set uh, select navtech stations i had uploaded a video earlier then the next one is papers and printers checked another one that has to be written is battery on or off load tested and if you are having a specific time you should write out the time there then the dsc is tested and the most important thing is the position updates on vhf mfhf and sat c because unless your ship is registering the positions regularly there is no way you will be uh, ha getting help once you press the distress a uh, designated or an undesignated after this write down all the transmission and reception that you got from ship to shore or from shore to ship the navtex communications and important safety security urgency and distress messages you received on egc this too you just have to write down the time you received this and you will maintain a separate file for all these records for the navtex and sat c you will be maintaining a separate file then every weekly and daily and monthly test should be updated in the log any repairs survey and faults this has to be logged in the radio logbook the battery charge and the values that are being maintained then if you are testing with a coast station or a ship station on the mfhf or the vhf you will be doing internally but some people prefer to do it with ship to ship then you should write the mmsi number and the gmt of the request and back that has been received or sent the next one will be the monthly test that includes the epurb sar two way rt sat c the pv test the pv test i had shown you a video uh, sat and epurb also i have uh, posted a videos so this has to be done now i will show you two important documents one is the radio logbook and the second is the file that maintains the sat c and navtex messages so so this is my radio logbook i will not be going into the details of uh, what is inside it i will show you how to write so one of the first things that has to be written is the details of all the people who are going to be using the station then whenever i am uh, making a monthly or weekly test i will be writing it down and i will be color coding it so that it's very easy for me to identify where this has been done also you can see there are records that have been clipped onto the gmdss log i'll show you how it is written uh, this is a monthly test this page has been selected because it's a monthly test the first thing i'll be writing here is the vessel's daily movement date moving a voyage number and noon position then i'll be writing the gmt that has been maintained the first line i'll be writing will be the utc station number and what all had been done sat c was on egc was set to a specific nav area navtex was selected to some specific stations then papers and printers were checked battery on and off load test was carried out dsc was tested position updates on dsc vhf mfhf sat c all were found satisfactory this line is an important line you have to maintain this line at the start of all 
radio communication log entries for a specific date the next will be the GMT when I received a message was it uh, whichever message I received I will be writing the station name and since it was to all ships <coughs> including my ships I write it down then what type of uh, message I had received was it a weather message was uh, uh, piracy message whatever message I got and I'll be counter signing all this this page this is the function test daily test whichever I had done see the book radio GMDSS logbook will be different for uh, different companies but since all these entries are universal you will be finding a place to write all these entries so the daily test when I was uh, when I had done it I'll be writing it here week since it was a monthly test I had done a weekly test so you can see I had done a loop test for my VHF and uh, tested with the coast station a uh, ship station then the monthly test I had written a record of what all monthly tests were carried out and the record of battery charges all the records of battery charges had been written down so going to us another date there was a survey that was carried out on our ship so I am lucky enough to show you this survey details so I will be writing pasting a survey uh, survey uh, details here again all these details have been written also do vessel had done a dry dock and at dry dock whatever repair was carried out I had written all the entries so that this is a record an official record of whatever had been repaired so if it has been repaired during some other times you should write down all the re repair list then whichever messages that are not EGC messages I will just paste it onto the uh, radio logbook after this I will show you uh, the EGC file so the next thing I will be showing you is the EGC and SATC all the messages I have received I will be keeping it in a separate file these are EGC messages since these are EGC messages I will have to find out if it is applicable to me or not so if it is applicable I will write it down applicable or mark it on the chart and not applicable I will just write down whichever is not applicable so this list has to be maintained the EGC have a correction uh, this book has to be this file has to be corrected they will give you at some times they will be giving you which messages are in force so this is a message showing which messages are in force for the last two weeks so this way I can know how to update this file after this I will be filing all the piracy reports or any other communication with the company that I had received on the sat C so navtex you can either roll it up and keep it and mark it or you can keep uh, keep a separate file I am rolling it up so you won't be able to see it in this file this is how an EGC record file has to be maintained so I hope you found out useful information with this video thank you